now introducing the 2010 BMW 760 IL luxury sports sedan. As it roll up, you see the classic lines of any BMW from the long hood to the sloping A pillars, B pillars, classic BMW door styling where it kind of pulls up right there to the short rear deck and large flabby trunk. We come around to the front, we see the classic BMW nose up front my version of the Xeon headlights large rims on this one I did like a kind of lightning bolt design black and white looking th looking like a thunderstorm pretty much we'll move on to see side view mirrors all the way to the trunk And another classic look from the side of the vehicle. Let's check out some of the features that you see on this vehicle that you see on the real one. Right here, that little antenna that they have that kind of sticks up in the back right here. Just like ahead of my Range Rover, you see the sunroof. Now that slide shut right back open. Let's take a look at some of the interior details, shall we? The first thing you try and notice is that I don't really have any instructions at all when building these. I build them strictly from memory or just do an entire amount of retrofitting. Like if something comes up on another vehicle that I think will work best for all of them, that's what I'll do. That is the case with this frame design that you see here at the bottom that's just pretty sturdy with the white, yellow, white, yellow, white, and just all of that. Like it's just one, one of those little details that you see or hear. But it took some time to, you know, get to the point where I realized that's what I needed for better structural integrity. And then you see a lot of the colors that are, I use for the vehicle aren't just random in place in terms of how I actually just choose any color that you see in the Connects box. Like for more aesthetic purposes, you see here that right behind the door, I wanted this curve to be noticeable right here for the BMW style. So right underneath... I use much darker colors. Moving to the front, you start to notice the same details in the interior. Like this brown color rod that I use here, that represents the same color in the same placing of where the wood grain would be in the actual vehicle. You start to notice details that are very BMW-like for a sophisticated 7 Series model. Adjust the adjustable front seats, adjustable headrest, the same wood grain details that go down the center console. Also the actual little console itself that opens up in an odd kind of manner in which most German cars do nowadays. You see the details for the iDrive system in here as well right up there for the driver in the same wood grain going across the front of the dashboard. This is the long wheelbase version. So you see we have a lot of leg room and of course the little console that opens up back here for the rear passengers. You see that space headrest. The same wood grain that you see on the doors that are in the front of the car. Let's go check out the chunk room. So a lot of room in here as compared to most of other sedans that I've built before. And that's pretty much, that's the 7 Series in a nutshell. It still has everything proper, a sophisticated turning system. Go ahead and show you how the doors close and, close and lock. Very experienced with my bodybuilding. So when you talk about 
the ultimate driving machine this is pretty much it right here in terms of the sedans that I've built this is recently remodeled now let's go on to look at another model that's considered the ultimate for its class this is the only version this is also another one-of-a-kind connects car that only exists here the last of the line 2003 Bentley Azure convertible and we will take a very good look at that in its details and its old world luxury as compared to the BMW next time. Thank you.